Okay, this is a disc. It is having a thickness delta. Perpendicular to plane of the disc. So there's a <laughs> magnetic field is applied, which is perpendicular to plane of the disc. At a rate, and the man, that magnetic field is going to vary. So uh, let me write it dB by dt here in this way. Power dissipated in the disc due to induced current. It is having a conductivity sigma and radius a. Okay, there's the information, some information what we have. Now you see the way is asking that the last part power dissipated. Why do power gets dissipated first? Due to the induced current. There's a primary way is what we have to think. See, the moment you switch on magnetic field, will there be any induced electric field? Uh, so, uh, uh, many were asking, uh, so like a conductor, there's the first time I brought conductor, uh, able to analyze the first time I brought conductor. Okay, now we know what conductor contains, free electrons. So now due to varying magnetic field, there'll be induced electric field. This induced electric field, what it will do? Will exert force on the free electrons and it will make them to move in some <coughs> path. Later on tomorrow, I'll discuss eddy current where you can oppose what all I discussed. So today, since you don't know eddy current, okay, I can happily finish off this problem. <laughs> Nobody will object, I know it. When I discuss eddy current, then you may come and say that, sir, what earlier you discussed, is it justified? We'll see. Uh, no, uh, now the electrons which are present in the conducting is what do they like spin electrostatic uh, electric field, electrostatic force. And due to that force, they will start moving. And we know if electron moves inside the conductor, it will encounter collisions with the ions of conductor. And due to that, they'll be generated. And that is what we are, we have to find out. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll start with the Let me assume a circular ring. Uh, you, you, your mathematical skills are needed here. Without that, not possible. Let this be at a distance x. I, I'm assuming a thin disk there, thin ring, this one. So here, if you look at that, This is what that dr and this is what that delta. Hope everyone. I'll, I'll explain through diagram. It'll be very easy with that. Okay, got it now, this one, there's a thin disk. Okay, this will be the uh, radius x. Okay, this is a dx, we'll write it. Yeah. dr I would have taken, then we'll confuse with the uh, Okay, this is a dx. How the electrons, so that there'll be induced electric field should be tangential to it.
B bar into the plane. Okay, it will be tangential. Mm -hmm. I'm taking this or okay. No, no problem. Let me show you. Okay, this E bar will come into picture in the frame. This will be E bar. This E bar will exit a force now and it will make that electrons to move in a circular region. So first we'll calculate that induced electric field. E should be equal to E two pi X pi X square dB by dt. E equal to X by two dB by dt. What is the resistance of this ring? A resistance of ring will calculate. Resistance of the ring dr. This should be equal to uh, anybody. Resistance of the ring. I, I want from. Resistance of the ring will be rho l by you know rho e is here sigma. L is two pi x sigma. What is area dx into delta? So this will become two pi sigma delta x dx. Resistance of elemental ring. Okay, this is elemental ring. I'll, I'll write it down. So that this is a disk. This is an elemental ring. No. <coughs> okay, let's get into this resistance of elemental ring. I, I, and this electric field is there. Okay, go back to the Ohm's law. We had the some sort of equations here, no? So shall we call this is a EMF induced, can we also, this is an induced electric field. This induced electric field will force them. And because of that, there'll be J bar, current density. Oh, can you remember? And what is the idea? J is equal to sigma into E. So this makes the current to flow. When current flows, there'll be, there'll be e collisions and there'll be E generated. Okay, till here, no problem. Then, then after this, what to do? Shall we calculate EMF induced in the ring? This induced electric field. So I should give explanations of what makes the electrons to flow is because of induced electric field. And there's a current density, there's a current density means there should be a flow of current. So here we can just put it, some sort of current I flows. No, when current type flow, they should be generated. <coughs> oh, no. What is the EMF induced in this ring? Can we calculate? EMF induced in the ring. So EMF induced in the ring. So that should be equal to DE should be equal to pi R square. Effective area is pi, pi X square db by dt then what is the power power should be equal to de by dr de o square by dr p equal to e square by r formula so de is this will become pi x square db by dt o square by the resistance is how much 2 pi sigma delta x dx Pi get cancels, mm, one X get cancels, so DX will come there. So all the constant terms, let me bring outside, Sigma, Delta by two DB by DT, <coughs> X into DX. Uh, anybody, what can be limit? Zero to A.
Oh, I, I think I think X cube it will come. All these are terms square. Pi square will be there one pi. Pi sigma delta by two dB by dt zero to e. Yeah. Look at this. Finally. A to power of four by four. This is the power dissipated in the disk. <laughs> here, here I should write one condition. Assuming that AD current affects 